Here's how to replace the starter on the Chevy Silverado. This is a 95 model. They're all pretty similar. Um, we're going to unhook the battery, and you can see this wire goes from the battery down to the starter. And we're unhooking it so we don't get electrocuted, but also so we can have some slack. You can see the, the battery cable down there is bolted down to the frame. So if we undo those, then when the, when the starter comes out, we can drop it down a ways and take the nuts off without stretching or breaking anything. So battery disconnected. Took off this bolt and took off that bolt there. Um, there are little washers that go under those straps. So just make sure you take the washer out and put it back when you're done. Meanwhile, under the truck, starter is right here, and there's a bolt there and a bolt there. So there's just two bolts that go that go up that hold it. So you pull those two bolts out and then kind of lower it down and we'll disconnect the wires and then put the new one in. I think it'll be able to clear the exhaust and the transmission and all the other nonsense, all these other wires and pipes and things. All right, so we're taking the bolts out here. All right, so that's the second bolt. Oh, it's coming out. And, oh, this is so easy. And then it comes down. And then we've got to weasel our way around the back side of it and get the wires. You can't, it's really hard to shoot where the wires are, but there's two nuts on the back of this thing on top over here. All right, so here's what we got. This, this nut was on the main big battery wire. And then there's another nut right here, a little one that you need to undo. So you're not going to get them mixed up. And then this is some kind of temperature sensor or something, or oil pressure sensor. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I had to unplug it too to get slack that's plugged up into the block. This is a good time to check and just make sure that the wires aren't loose, like I didn't jerk any of these connections loose and they need to be redone. And then you'll have, you could sand them down and clean them off so that you're making good contact as well. All right, here's a look at the new starter versus the old starter. Now, rather than a rebuilt one, I bought a new one. Uh, this one's a rebuilt one from Mexico, the old one, and the new one's from Malaysia. So I guess Malaysia is the New Mexico. And here's where you can see the nuts that need to be connected so you need to connect the little wire to this one and the big wire to this one and then this one you just leave alone it's just connecting to itself all right the literature says you might need longer bolts if it's 94 or earlier uh, mine's 95 so i'm not going to but be aware of that it was so tight to shoot video here would have been difficult so the starter just kind of slides in there real easy and then you put the two bolts in and you're good and you torque them down. Just make sure all the electrical connectors were connected tight and that the connections are clean. And then and make sure you didn't knock anything else loose while you're down here. And once that's done, we're just gonna tighten that strap down, tighten that strap down, make sure there's still enough clearance. And uh, hook up the battery and we're driving. All right, and then be gentle when hooking up the battery. Don't over torque it or you'll rip the threads out of it if you have one of these crappy side post batteries and then release the hounds oh yeah oh, it's alive